All right, everybody, I'm an old guy gaming, and we are back and ready to get our cowboy on here in Red Dead 2. Really uh, enjoyed the first episode playing it, and uh, we're going to continue on and uh, just keep having fun and learning how to play the game. So um, on our mini map, we have a couple of yellow um, blips there, and those are objectives that we need to go uh, talk to somebody, uh, talk to those people. Now, I did spend a little bit of time before I started the recording and I went into the the help menu and started reading through all the stuff. And there is a lot of cool stuff in here. For example, you know, we can go hunting and fishing and we can play poker, blackjack, dominoes, and five finger filet. Um, lots of information about crime. Uh, we could, if we wanted to, for example, we could actually be a bounty hunter if we wanted to try and play, you know, um, quote unquote, good guy. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we are a gangster and, you know, we're going to do robberies and stuff, so we're not really a good guy, but we could maybe be a sort of kind of good guy. I don't know uh, if we wanted to do that. So lots of cool information. Of course, I'm not going to spend time right now and go through this, but um, it was useful to use uh, or to read through this stuff. And, I'll, you know, I'll probably have to refer to it again many times until I really get uh, things down. But, uh, yeah, cool stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and get back to the game here. And see what uh, these these guys want us to do or need us to do. So we'll go to the to this closer one first, the P. Uh, one thing I'm not sure about is how do we know? Um, how do we know what those objectives are? Do we just okay? That's Bill Williamson, and this is Mr. Pearson. The aftermath of Genesis Pearson needs to speak to you. Okay, so if we click on it. Okay, how come clicking on that doesn't do anything, but when I click on this one, it brings something up. Yeah, I'm not, not really sure about that. Bill Williamson. Uh, I believe Bill Williamson, isn't he like, um, he's in Red Dead 1, and he actually shot us at the beginning of the game. Sorry, I probably shouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as spoilers uh, for those of you who may not know uh, the Red Dead 1 story, and I don't know it either. I mean, I just started watching it myself, so I'm still going through it. It's kind of interesting that, um, you know, that there's horse pee on the ground. <laughs> Very realistic. Okay, well, um, I guess let's let's go talk to the Bill Williamson thing first, and then we'll go talk to Pearson. I don't know why one has a, a screen tip and the other one doesn't, but I guess we'll find out. Up with you boys because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't never seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> a party. <laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> Oh crap. I don't feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You wanna sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. You sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Colm? Always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson, would you please look after the place there are O'Driscolls about? Yeah! All right, we're off. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. They're camped near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core they're planning.
That looks awesome. What's that? Tracks. Horses, quite a few of them. As far as I can tell, the only fools out here are us and them. They must be this way. You good, Dutch? Of course. Listen, I know you don't think much of my ideas recently, but this is the right move. Okay. You know I got your back. I learned a long time ago that you hit Como Driscoll. Wait for him, and people you love will die. This feud between you and him needs to be put to rest one way or another. Look at the scenery. <laughs> Beautiful. Some things I can forgive, others I can forget. What he did to Annabelle, I can't do neither. You killed his brother, Dutch. Yes, I did. And I hope the bastards will be reunited soon enough. That's how this will end. Damn right, boss. See that smoke? This cinematic mode is really cool. They said it was near the lake, so we must be close. Yep, there's some smoke over yonder. Hold up here. Hold. Yeah, hold. All right, gentlemen. This is it. Are we goddamn ready? Ready, Dutch. Good. Now, Mr. Morgan and I, we're gonna head up here a little, see if we can't get a sense of the layout of the camp. Mr. Williamson, Mr. Bell, you two take up a hidden position just outside the camp. Mr. Summers, Mr. Escuela, you two hold position here. Let's go. All right, <clears throat> I think I need to get, do I need to get my rifle? Oh, it's not letting me do it, okay. I guess I just have to go up here. There they are. Uh, that's definitely them. Home? I think so. Yeah, that's him. Oh, I can control the binox. Can I zoom in? Doesn't look like it. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. <laughs> they leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. All right. Let's go pay our old friends a visit. Don't forget to grab that rifle from your horse. Weapons not set in your loadout before dismounting will remain on your horse. Okay. You boys be ready to pick them off. Approach your horse there. and hold tab to view stored it, weapons. Wait. Is this our horse? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> um weapons. Wait, is that our horse? No, this is our horse. <laughs> okay. There we go. Select a long arm slot and use E to cycle to the carbine repeater. Long arm slot. Long arm shoulder, long arm back. Arm 
cards. I guess we could use either one of them. Okay, we'll do this. And then E. And we have the carbine. Okay. Quick, grab that repeater and let's get moving. Good. Come on, let's go. Okay. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. I'm trying to get Come behind on. him, but he keeps slowing down. That's <laughs> the personal space there, bud. Uh, okay. Am I supposed to go first? Because he's, he's walking really slow. Okay, let me go out in front of him. Or maybe we're supposed to walk side by side because he's keeping pace with me now. Here, let's stop for a second and look down there. Okay, now Arthur's going ahead. Or not Arthur, um, Dutch. I'm Arthur. Steep here. Careful. Yeah, it looks pretty steep. Take the lead on this. They're going to be gunning for you. They ain't got me yet. No, but the way our luck's been running. Hush. Let's just get down there first. Follow me. Let's head for that building in front. tab to show the weapon wheel use the mouse to select weapon release okay yeah i think we already know that but let's get our gun out okay let's get in cover <laughs> go here so what are we doing dutch i can take this if you want just make the call if you want to take the lead Go. Um, hold right mouse while looking at Dutch to speak to Arthur. Take the lead or send the gang. Uh, we'll take the lead. Okay, I'll go first. Alright, so we got a guy there. Alright, well, here goes nothing. Okay, uh... That stupid post is in the way. Did we kill him? I don't think we killed him. Now yeah, we did. Keep 
fire weapons quickly from the hip by tapping when not aiming. Oh, okay. All right. So it looks like all the bad guys are right in front of us here. They show up on the compasses in like the red area. Uh, okay, let's advance. Okay, we got him. Cabins to the right. Oh, I got his hat. There we go. Dutch, look out. Okay, let's get over here. Right there's a guy. Got him. Post. There we go. Yeah, I'm just kind. Of, I'm just trying to get used to the feel of the combat, but it's pretty fun, though. Okay, we got somebody over here. Got him. All right, there's still a guy right here. Somebody over this way. Yeah, it looks like we gotta move over this way a bit. There's like a little post or something right in the way here. There we go. All right, that went reasonably well. We didn't die, that's the important thing. Search bodies. Okay, let's go search bodies. Hold E near a corpse to loot it. Open uh, chewing tobacco. More chewing tobaccos, cartridges. Oh shit! Okay, let's get behind here. Uh, how do we get our gun put away? He's kind of in a spot where I can't get to. Oh, shit. Are we undercover? Okay, now we're undercover. Uh, um, let's, let's, let's defend. All right, pick them off as they come out of the trees. Don't lose them in the trees. Okay, we got him. While aiming, press to activate dead eye. Oh. Oh, cool. Okay. So we can like pre-mark these guys and then just go to town on them. Oh, that's cool. Okay. okay let's let's let, let our dead eye meter come back up a little bit. Okay, what we're going to do is here and then dead eye. Oh, do we not have anything left for it? Our meter out or something? There we go. Okay, we marked him. Uh, we marked him. We marked him. And, okay, let's just take those guys out. Oh, what happened? Oh, did it run out? Ah, oh, shit. Okay. Oh, 
Hold tab to open the weapon wheel. Consumable items are found in the item wheel. Use a tonic to restore dead eye. Back to the camp. We'll get what we need. Okay. Um. Weapons items. That restores health. Oh, it's this one here. Dead eye tonics opened snake oil. Foley restores dead eye. Uh, release tab to use. Fully re so it didn't fully restore it. It just restored some of it. Maybe. Oh, you know what? It's probably because it was. It's probably because it was um, partially opened. All right. So we don't have any more dead eye tonic. Dead eye tonics chewing tobacco fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly. Slightly damages dead eye core. Fully restores dead eye and fortifies slightly, but it damages the core a little bit. Oh, that's interesting. All right. I, well, I don't, we're out of combat, so I think we're okay now. Let's put our weapon away. Get over here. Oh, did we just hit tab? Yeah, we just tap tab. All right, let's go loot these guys really quick. You know, the important thing with all that is we didn't die. <laughs> it probably wasn't done as eloquently as it could have been done, but we didn't die, so that's the most important thing. Oh, there's some more snake oil. Peter cartridges. Yeah, we're getting all kinds of stuff. Can we um, pick up that weapon? Doesn't look like it. Platinum band. I guess that's probably just stuff that we sell, like vendor junk kind of stuff. Stamina 25% to level 3. Hold F1 for details. What? Um, Your stamina attribute determines how far you can run before becoming tired. Four remaining 88, 85 statistics overview. Okay, so is that just telling me that I'm getting close to leveling it up? I think that's what that means. All right, not, not entirely sure, but let's just keep moving here. All this loot. Opened Miracle Tonic. Okay, uh, let's, ooh, Silver Emblem Ring. That might be valuable. There might be a couple more guys to loot, but let's just go ahead and continue on here. Well, except for there's a couple more guys to loot. <laughs> I wonder if there's stuff inside the shacks we can get, too. It looks like there might be. No, it's not letting me pick that stuff up. Okay. Let's just look in here really quick and then we'll then we'll get with it. I know this is taking a while. It, it takes them such a long time to loot, but you know, I'm okay with that because it's realistic. But we do need to get going. Okay, so let's head on back over to the boys. The yellow dots on our mini map are the where we we're supposed to go, even though that's pretty obvious. Good work, boys. Now, let's tear this place apart. Oh, he wants me to loot? <laughs> Okay, Bill, that's what we were doing. Go search that wagon there. Mike, search that building. Arthur, you take that building to the left. Building to the left. All oh, right, okay. Man, Here, Why let's loot this guy really quick. Explosives, anything you can. Let's go. Opened horse medicine. Did we already loot that guy? Yeah, we must have hit these guys already. I think we were looting them 
be uh, when the second wave showed up. Okay, so our mini map wants us to go to the yellow uh, the yellow area. So search the building. Okay, did we loot him? We didn't. <laughs> I imagine at some point we're going to be able to just go off and do our own thing, and then we'll have a bunch of stuff to sell, like a gold wedding ring, for example. That's got to be worth something. Okay, this is the last guy I'm going to loot, and then, then I'll get with it here. Okay, so we're supposed to go in here. Take health cure. Why isn't it let me take it? Is it because it's empty? Okay, we can take the cigar. Canned veggies. Search the chest. Snake oil. Okay, I think that's probably the chest we need to look in, but is there anything else we can loot first? Kentucky bourbon. There you go. That'll keep us warm. And there's another so stove there, too. Uh, it doesn't... Why... <clears throat> excuse me. Why doesn't it let us take it? Oh, you can't carry any more of this item. Okay, gotcha. We, we, we're maxed out on it. That makes sense. Why? <laughs> what is he doing? Uh, okay. Here we go. Hey, this looks good. What do you think, Bill? Well, looks fine. Smells good. Come on. Don't drop that. Did we get everything? Think so, boss. Found this on one of them. Thank you. This is perfect. Oh, yeah. Interesting. This is something about the train they was gonna rob. A Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Mount back up. Let's keep moving. Leviticus Cornwall. All right. Let's get out of here. Proud of you boys, all of you. Not a man down. Good work, fellas. Not bad for some starving down and outs. They can pummel us hard as they like, but we will always get back up and fight. That's who we are. <laughs> Outlaws for life, fellas. Wait Outlaws until we for have life. John, Mac, Charles, and Sean back riding with us, and I believe. I know they will all be back. Well, you didn't get combed, but this head will hurt him a lot more than any bullet in the head. Especially when we rob this train, too. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see about that. Oh, indeed we will. You know, he'll come after us. Oh, of course he will, just like all the rest. But we're going to stay a step ahead of them. Make sure we always know where they are before they know where we are. We allowed ourselves to get a step behind in Blackwater. That won't happen again. All right, dig in, fellas. Let's make some ground. Here we go. Yeehaw! Man, this is fun. You see that fella? Wasn't he at the camp with Colm? Leave him to me. All right, we're heading back. Just bring him back alive. He could be useful. All right, we're chasing someone. Here we go. Chase down and lasso O'Driscoll. The O'Driscoll. Hold tab to show the weapon wheel. And yeah, okay, here's our lasso. Hold this to ready lasso and aim at the O'Driscoll. Oh no, you don't. Keep the right mouse button held and dismount. Uh, press F near O'Driscoll to hog tie him. Hog tie. What the hell? How come he's not hog tying? Hmm. 
<clears throat> I'm not quite sure what I did wrong there. I was trying to hog time and he was like jumping on him. All right, hold R near O, the Odris. I keep saying O'Driscoll, but it's the O'Driscoll. Because that's just the name of his gang. He is un O'Driscoll. Approach back to your horse and hold R to stow the O'Driscoll. flopping around like a sack of grain. Uh, all right. Let's mount up. It's getting dark and it's getting cold. What's your name, boy? I don't know. You don't know your name? It's Kieran. Kieran what? Duffy. Kieran Duffy. Well, I ain't gonna lie to you. This is a real bad day for you, Kieran Duffy. Where are you taking me? Somewhere you ain't gonna lie. Why? What are you going to do to me? Some fan you ain't going to like. <laughs> so I'd advise you to save your breath for screaming. No, please. Damn. That's harsh. You're hurting me. Shut your mouth, you little shit, or I will shut it for you. Okay, I'm gonna slow down because my horse's stamina is almost out. I'll just walk for a little bit here. I don't think we're in a hurry. I've only been running with them a couple of months. Oh, take it easy. You're gonna break my ribs. Are you trying to test me? Is that it? Because I will break every bone in your body. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Not one more goddamn word. Am I clear? Okay. Okay. That's two bones right there. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Here we are, you sack of shit. Let's introduce you to the boys. Health increase to level four, nice. For our horse. You've unlocked rearing with this horse. Hold left control and tap spacebar when doing something. I didn't catch all that. We'll figure it out later. All right, let's see. We are supposed to go this way to the yellow blob on the mini map. And it's cutscene time. a little shit, did you? Yep. I got him. Very good. Welcome to your new home. Hope you're real happy here. You want me to make him talk? Oh, no. Now all we'll get is lies. Uncle, Mr. Williamson, tie this maggot up someplace safe. We get him hungry first. I got a saying, my friend. We shoot fellas as need shooting. Save fellas as need saving. And feed them as need feeding. We are going to find out what you need. I can't believe it! An O'Driscoll in my camp! No, I ain't an O'Driscoll, mister! I, I hate that fella! Oh, whatever you say, son. Well done, Arthur. I'm just sorry we missed out on Cole. Oh, there's time enough for that. Now, I gotta figure out if we can hit that train. Okay. All right, that was cool. And it's the next day. Auto slave, auto save slot already contains auto save. Enter pursue.
pursued by a memory saved on. Do you want to overwrite the data in the slot with your current game progress? Yeah, I think so, because that was the first autosave that we must have done. So, yes. I can make my own saves, too. Mission complete, old friends. Old F1 for details. Old friends, looking for information on the O'Driscoll's planned train job. Dutch leads the gang into an attack on their camp, okay? Checklist. Catch and hogtie Kieran within 45 seconds. Oh, we didn't do that. Kill three O'Driscoll's in the same dead I use. We didn't do that either. Complete. Within 15 minutes, 30 seconds, get 15 headshots. Complete the mission without taking any health items. Well, we got <laughs> we got one of five objectives, so uh, that's all right. Um, I believe I mentioned earlier, I think I did anyways, that I'm not really too concerned about trying to get all these things. I, I just wanted to enjoy the game and play, you know, for the story more than anything. But, you know, we'll see how things go. Uh, the, the other thing about this, though, is that I didn't even know that's the stuff I was supposed to do. It didn't tell me. Um, but I'm, we can probably replay that anyways, I'm sure to, you know, to try and get all that stuff later if we want to. So we'll see no promises, but again, uh, it's not a high priority for me right now. We just want to enjoy the game and enjoy the story. All right, let's move on. Okay. So now we need to approach, uh, this next guy with the P I think his name's Pearson. Let's see what he wants us to do. We got a lot of loot from those guys. You know, hold on. Before we talk to Pearson, I just want to look and see what we got. So we got baked beans, snake oil. We got three snake oils. What's um, what's the th difference between yellow and white? Is it that white is is like a food item and yellow is like a, a medical item, a medicine item? Gun oil keeps your gun condition well maintained. Yeah, I read about that in the help menu. This is how we, you know, uh, clean up our gun, keep it in good condition. Silver emblem ring. It doesn't tell us how valuable that is. Okay, so this is provisions. This is tonics. All right, well, see, not all tonics are yellow. Oh, shit. I didn't mean to do that. Dog on it. We just wasted a health tonic. Uh, okay. So I guess if we, if you click on it, you just automatically use it. How do I discard drink Jolly Jacks? So if I just click on, what if I want to select it without using it? Oh, that didn't use it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Anyway, so this is... Opened horse medicine fully restored. Okay, we can't use it. It's grayed out because we're not on a horse. That makes sense. And this is opened miracle tonic. And this is miracle tonic. Fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye and fortifies slightly. Wow. That, like, takes care of everything, doesn't it? All right. Well, I'm not sure why I can just select him now, but the first time I actually used it. Maybe it was because I needed to use it. I might have been down a little bit of my health. I can't remember. But we'll figure it out. Ingredients. So we'll be able to, to craft things. Uh, you know, at some point we'll learn how to do that. Uh, so that's going to be fun. So, that, you know, there are some survival aspects to the game too, which, of course, those of you who watch me all the time know that I love survival games. So that's kind of cool. You know, we'll be able to eat. We'll be able to craft things. Uh, satchel kit. So this is like our tools and things like that. These are valuables. But it doesn't tell me how, how valuable it is. Hmm, I wish that it told us that, but doesn't hey what's this cigarette cards a collection of cigarette cards the world's champions and the, our journal okay cool all right so yeah let's um you know what actually before we talk to pearson before we talk to pearson i think there's some stuff in our journal that we need to read um so let's do this let's go i think this is our house over here yeah, because it's got the little tent icon. Let's go into our house for a minute. We, we need to take a break, man. I mean, because we've been out thing. doing stuff. Oh, let's listen to these chance. guys. Send someone down the track back to that farmhouse. Okay. Why? That poor woman's husband needs burial. Of course. And is it safe down there? Oh, just send someone sensible. 
Understood. All right. So Dutch, he he kind of acts like a good guy, but he's the leader of, of a gang of, of thieves and robbers. <laughs> How does that equate? Maybe he's an honorable thief or something? Hmm. I don't know. All right. I haven't gotten far enough along in Red Dead 1 to, you know, to, to really know. In fact, I haven't gotten very far at all. I just know who Bill Williamson is and John Marston is. Uh, if you guys are watching me for the first time, I'm uh, I'm watching Red Dead 1 on YouTube um, just to get the story. Uh, because Red Dead 1, you can't play on PC and I don't, I don't have a console, so... Uh, all right, so what I want to do is let's go ahead and sit down here. Let's just take a break for a second. Uh, no, sit. Okay, and then we're going to press J to open our journal. And let's just take a look at this really quick, um, because I believe this is going to give us like some backstory here. Uh, so this is a map of Blackwater, okay? Nice little sketch there. And then let's read this. Blackwater. I, brought, I bought this new journal after the last one got destroyed in that fire all those months ago, whenever it was. Haven't written or drawn much in the past few months, but I was missing it more than I thought I would. And finally, near a store, so here I am, I guess. After all that business up north and the fire, we spent a few months in the wilderness traveling down from the northern grizzlies. Northern grizzlies. Hmm. Okay. Uh... Nothing to scroll there. Next page. Stuck mostly in the western foothills of the mountains during the worst of winter. Food was easy to find and life was good. Dutch had a lead for some land we were going to buy, but the land didn't match up to his criteria, or he got spooked and we were being watched by the law, and that somebody knew who he was, and we never bought it, and we are wandering still. We picked up a couple of new folks in the Grizzlies. Next page. Here's a drawing of a woman. Jenny, a sweet young girl. Oh, I guess a girl. <laughs> we met abandoned on the roadside in Micah, an outlaw Dutch met in a bar someplace. Dutch seems very taken with Micah, who's a pretty hot-headed, argumentative, and full of himself. Who is uh, those things? Hosea and I are less sure. Guess we shall see. I, I think Hosea, he seems like he's like, um, you know, like the quartermaster maybe or the second in command. I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out yet. Eventually, we came out of the wilderness and are now holed up outside of Blackwater, although sometimes I stay in town hunting for opportunities. Next page. Um, I might be on to something. We got plenty of money, and the trail we took was so torturous and slow, nobody could have followed us south and east or figured out where we was heading. We was thinking about California, but then Dutch and Jose had brought us down to Blackwater. Another sketch of the town, it looks like. couple of people building something or repairing something. Blackwater has apparently grown a lot since any of them was last here. I was told to expect little more than a trading post, but the place is growing fast and it's almost a small city. The town seems to be riddled with corruption, but there's certainly plenty of money here. It's good to be sleeping in a bed from time to time and living a more civilized life after so long under canvas, but I do not particularly like being near this near to a town. Next page. Uh, we are living here, camping outside to town mostly, hidden in plain sight, I guess. Life seems pretty easy. Abigail and Marston keep arguing. I wonder why exactly he came back. He cannot seem to decide if he wants to be a father to that boy of his or not. The arguing is exhausting. I heard talk of a man sounded like tre 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 uh, Trelawney? Trelawney? Yeah, Trelawney. Uh, but we haven't seen him for many months. Um, so there's some man named Trelawney, uh, tr tr <laughs> my mouth does not want to say that, Trelawney, that maybe was messing around with Abigail and that's why they're fighting, I don't know. Not sure, maybe we'll find out more about that later on. Jose and I are on to something, something pretty big. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with real estate scam. Might be a lot of cash coming in to do with a real estate scam Jose thinks he may have discovered. I am not sure yet. The perfect crime, we think. One where we rob crooks. We are being real careful. It's fun working with Jose again. The man is an artist of nonsense. Even if nothing comes of it, we are having amusing enough time. Whoops. 
It's good to be running scams again. Jose is a born huckster. He's getting anxious, worried that by lingering in town, we're going to bring undue attention on ourselves. But Dutch thinks he is also onto something big. His words, not mine. Bank money being brought in by boat. Apparently, so for, uh, so for now, sorry, bank money being brought in by boat, apparently. So for now, we are working on both things and seeing what happens. Plan is to flee west into the desert country someplace if we can. Got a little picture of a boat there. These are the Pinkerton guys. Pinkerton is the law, if you guys didn't know that. Um, I don't know if that's like a specific company or if that's just more of a general term that these guys are using. Uh, whoops. Nope. Sorry. I skipped the page. Okay. Micah and Dutch are planning to rob the ferry in town. They think it's laden with riches. Cash coming in for the banks. Coming in by boat. For once, I'm not getting involved in the job. Jose and I are too taken up with our business, which I believe could go very well. And Dutch seems confident that with the group assembled, all will be okay. All right, so these guys are working on some kind of real estate scam, and they're not going to participate in robbing the boat. Next page. Plan is for them to carry out the job, then flee into the wilderness out to the west. The next day, Jose and I carry out our scam and join them. Dutch seems happy and excited. He's taking again about he's talking again about California, but he's also talking about a lot of other places. All right, another uh, sketch of the Blackwater Saloon, it looks like. Cool. And a sketch of a horse. All right, now we got a big axe through the town of Blackwater, and let's see what this has to say. Nope, I did it again. Keep hitting the wrong damn button. We've been running for weeks. I mean, running more than usual. The job they was pulling in Blackwater, robbing that ferry, it turned into a disaster. Young Jenny got killed, poor thing, while Sean and Mac both got arrested or killed. Nobody seems sure which. Dutch shot a girl. I'm not too sure if by accident or design. It seems like it might have been a setup. We took to the hills in an almighty scramble, leaving money and most of our things behind. Uh, th this is now Coulter, which is where we're at currently. Okay. Davy T, I guess. Davy T. Um, then as we were fleeing east over the Grizzlies, an almighty storm hit us. Davy Callender, who had got shot in the gut on the, ra on the raid, passed away. It was brutal to watch, and the rest of us nearly froze, but we found shelter and have been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we await the thaw. Davy, oh, that's a cross. Okay, like a rest in peace kind of thing. Gotcha. So this, uh, does that get us caught up to where we currently are? Yeah, Camp Coulter, that's is where we're at, and, uh, oh, we got more to read here. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Jose and I had been planning a robbery of our own in Blackwater, but I guess that's been abandoned along with most of what I owned. I am profoundly concerned as to what happens next. Once we leave this place, or the law finds us cowering up here. Found a girl, well, a woman, I should say. Her husband had been murdered by some of Colmo Driscoll's boys. Nasty business. Um, That's it. Okay, yeah, so we can't, we don't have any more pages, but we do have a little train thing showing up there. So, yeah, that gives us a little bit of... um background information of you know how we got to this point which is pretty cool um let's go ahead now and talk to um to pearson that's hosea if we just go up to these people do they have something to say to us or oh sorry she <laughs> she doesn't have anything to say all right well let's go on out and talk to pearson then I think we might still be like in tutorial mode here anyways, so maybe we just don't have full access to, to everything at this point. <coughs> We're going to starve to death up here, Mr. Morgan. Speak to your companions by holding the right mouse button to focus on them and using the interaction R options. Okay. So we've already done this a couple times. Great. We're okay. We the aftermath of Genesis. A few cans of food and a rabbit. For what? 10, 12 people? When I was in the Navy. I, I do not wish to hear about what you got up to in the Navy, Mr. Pearson. <laughs> we were stranded at sea for 50 days. And you unfortunately survived. <laughs> When we ran away from Blackwater, I wasn't able to get supplies in. Well, when government agents are hunting you down, sometimes shopping trips need to be cut short. We'll survive. We always have. 
If needs be, we can eat you. You're the fattest. I sent Lenny and Bill hunting, and they found nothing. Well, Lenny's more into book learning than hunting. Bill's a fool. Unless those mountains are full of game that want to read, ain't no wonder they found enough, enough of this. <laughs> we'll go find something. Come on, Arthur. Wait a second. Hold on. Uh, here. You're gonna need something neat out there. Assorted salted offal. Starving will be preferable. Come on, let's go. You can't go hunting. Look at your hand. I can't stay here listening to you two. Look, if there's game in those hills, I'll find it. And you can kill it. You need to rest, Charles. You think this is rest? Come along. Things are tense. Pearson's got himself a bad cough, it sounds like. Here, you take this. I can't use it, and you'll have to. Oh, you're joking. Use a gun, and we'll scare off every animal for miles around. We've already kind of done that. To learn, I imagine. All right, here we go. Let's head out. Looks like we're going on a hunting trip. Assorted salted offal. Um, that sounds gross. Whatever it is, I I've heard of it before, but I just can't remember what it is. <laughs> match me with companion by holding or tapping L while riding near them. Your horse sounder will not drain while matching. Okay. Still bad. It'll be fine in a day or two. I just can't pull a bow right now. Oh, uh, sure hope I can. Never really got the hang of it. You'll be fine. So, you reckon we're gonna find something to kill that ain't no Driscoll? Huh. There's meat up here for sure. Pearson doesn't know what he's talking about. Now the weather's eased off a bit, they'll be needing to feed. We'll head up this way, find some higher ground. Whew. Been a wild few days, all right. That ride north from Blackwater, getting stuck in the storm, Going out for John, that thing with the O'Driscolls. You've had a lot put on you. I wish I could have done more. I didn't mean it like that. Just a lot to think back on. I still don't really know what happened on that boat. Me neither. <laughs> well, Javier told me a bit, but it sure weren't good. Bring on that spaghetti western music. <laughs> you could really get immersed in this game. It's perfect. We have control again. See some of the ground uncovered here. Come on, let's try this way. Keep your eyes peeled for movement. The wind's died down too. That's good. No wind at all is bad, but if it's too strong, they won't move. Now shh. Stay quiet. We're supposed to be looking for movement. Hey, stop here a second. I see something. Uh, careful. Has <sighs> deer been here recently? How can you tell? How can you not? <laughs> we'll track them on foot. You're gonna need the bow. Don't leave it on your horse. A gun will scare everything around. Oh, I thought we already had the bow. I guess we put it on our horse. Full tab to view stored on. weapons. Grab the bow. Collect long arms. Cue. Oh yeah, we, we already did this earlier. There we go. Grab that bow off the horse. Quiet as you can. Stay low and move slowly. Okay. Oh man, this is fun. 
Let's just follow the tracks. You see the tracks? Yep. I don't think so. Well, I did. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, Focus. there they are. You can use Eagle Eye to highlight animal tracks and other clues. Eagle Eye. Press to activate Eagle Eye. Is that the same as Dead Eye? Focus on track cue. Uh, stop tracking. Snow, but once you get your eye in, you'll be able to track nearly as well in grass and woods. I don't see anything happening. Focus on track. I don't get it. What what's happening here? I'm just following the tracks in the snow. Stop tracking unknown animal. Am I supposed to keep eagle eye on or what? I don't know. I mean, I can see the, the, the little swirly thing when I have eagle eye on. Stop tracking Q. E enable eagle eye and focus on the tracks to highlight them again. Okay, they're highlighted. Focus on track. Oh, okay. I It's, it's flashing. It's just really hard to see in the snow. I see. Okay. Your scent is also shown in the eagle eye... In Eagle Eye, blowing in the direction. Uh, so, so it's up in the upper right-hand corner. That must be 22 miles per hour, and the cone means it's blowing behind us, which is good. Okay. Man, this is fun. We're going to go do some hunting and some fishing. Oh, there's a deer. Wait, look. There they are. Are you ready with that bow? Try to hit him in the neck or head. Well, a quick far away. Clean. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer. Quite hard. You'll feel when it's too much. This is way too far away for this little bow I have. At least it would be in real life. Now, Arthur. All right, yeah, that went went pretty well. So let's check the wind. The wind is still going behind us. Focus on tracks. Attract an animal's attention by selecting call when aiming at it. This will give you a chance of a clean kill as they raise their head before fleeing. Okay. see any more deer yet. Can we get the arrow back? Yes. Nice. Oh no, that 22 thing in the upper right hand corner is our arrow quiver. Okay, how do we know which way the wind's blowing then? In eagle eye. I don't see anything that's indicating that. Well, anyways, the tracks go... I guess we'll come back and butcher that thing later. Tracks are going this way. Alright, there's uh, another deer up that way. I guess that's a deer. Yeah, it is. Whoop, he's looking right at us. Oh, there's a couple of them. That's still a little far away, I think. Nope, stay crouched. Stay crouched. Hit the wrong button. It's easy. Okay, this whole business about selecting call, how do I even do that? When close, when close, stunning animals discover information on it and its quality. Pelt quality is reduced with average or four kills. Oh, I see. So if, if I focus on it, then I press R and then it does call. Oh, that didn't last very long, did it? <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I'm trying to learn, man. All right, looks like we need to, to replenish our stamina. So let's go uh, health core and stamina core. We're, our health core is like perfect. So let, do we have something that just does stamina? Uh, provisions. Slightly restores health core and moderately restores stamina. Okay, that's peaches. Moderately restores health core. Slight restores health core. Health core and dead eye. Light restores health core and stamina core. Greatly restores all horse. Yeah, we should probably save those for the horse. Sword of salt. Health core and dead eye. Uh, stamina core moderately. What is that? Kentucky bourbon? Health core. Slightly restores stamina core. Greatly restores dead eye core. Cigarettes. All right, so I think the peaches were probably the best thing to do, right? So. Plus, just resting here for... Hey, dude, don't litter in the wilderness. What the heck, man? Okay. <laughs> so that little whistle call thing, man, that does not give you much time uh, to get a shot off. I thought it would last, you know, a little bit longer than it did. Okay, so let's go up this way. Okay, so we're back to our first kill. And I, uh... I followed the tracks, uh, tracks all the way back down the river, back by the horses, and then back this direction, and... Oh, I can... S okay, now I see the wind in Eagle Eye. It's like the little swirly things coming off my body, the little red... Well, I don't know if they're red, but... Uh, okay, so... That means we don't actually want to go directly in front of us, because our scent... They're going to smell us, so we need to go off this direction. Okay, there's tracks right there. Let's check those out. They're still going this way, though. See, the problem is our scent's going that way, too, so we need the tracks to go a different direction, or we're going to have to circle around or something. Oh, there they are. Okay. All right, let's see if we can get... Hold still, they're looking at us. We could probably hit that one from here, but... Yeah, we probably better try it, because I, I don't think we want to get any closer than this. Let's wait for it to put its head up. I don't want to use that call thing. Whoa! Boom! Got it. Well done. I think that's all we can get. Okay. Okay. You pick up one, I'll get the other. You sure your hands are okay? Uh, it'll be fine once I get it on the shoulder. All right. Cool. So we got ourselves a couple of dough. Okay. Hold R to pick up the deer carcass. Looks like we got our arrow back, too. The compendium tracks what you have discovered in the world. It can be accessed in the progress section of the pause menu. Compendium updated. F1 for details. White-tailed deer. White-tailed deer are found in a variety of habitats across the states, but are common to the forests of New Hanover, Lemoyne, and West Elizabeth. Their herbivorous diet includes grasses, nuts, fungi, twigs, and fruit. Keeping your distance when hunting deer can increase your chances of a kill. 
as they are easily startled. Long-range weapons such as a rifle or a bow with poison arrows are considered to be the best when hunting. Deer hide can be used for crafting, and their venison meat can be used for cooking. Can be used in the oregano venison recipe. Cool. All right. We've tracked three. We've killed two. So I guess this is progress towards one of the hunting achievements, uh, this 50% there. Oh, that's neat. Okay. Animals, equipment. Oh, you know what? I actually haven't read this. I'll, I'll, I'll have to read this later off the line. But that's almost, you know, kind of like a, a log of things, I guess, that we've discovered. Uh, whistle for your horse. Your horse will respond to your calls as long as it is in range. Continue to bond with your horse to increase the distance at which it responds to your whistling. Okay. I hear him coming. There he is. Or she. I think this is probably a male horse because of his name. Which escapes me at the moment. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't even know my horse's name. Oh, Tennessee Walker. Okay. I suppose that could be a female name. Good home, boy. Okay, man at your horse. Okay, boy. And meet up with Charles. Let's do it. Successful hunting trip. Easy. Animal carcasses can be dropped nice off to Pearson work, at the camp to contribute to, to gang supplies. For a few days. You found him. <laughs> I knew you'd be okay with that bow. Yeah, it's easier when they ain't shooting back. Yeah, really. <laughs> <laughs> We've seen enough of that. Considering how things were looking a couple of days back, well, maybe our luck is finally on the turn. Seems to me we should be putting our effort into getting off this mountain now. Soon. The people are still weak, and well, you've seen how snowed in those wagons are. Oh, shit! Re what? I was holding... Oh, damn it. I was... <laughs> I was holding the left shift button. It's supposed to follow him, but apparently... How do I recover it? Oh, uh, what do you think's wrong? I don't, I can't, it won't let me pick it up. Oh, there we go. We got to get out of the water too, man. It's cold in here. <laughs> I can't believe that. It, it, earlier it said if you hold the left shift button, you'll just follow, you know, your companion. And so I figured the game would steer me, but <laughs> apparently not. Oh man, that's terrible. I'm so embarrassed. Okay, let's put this um, guy back on a horse. Um, stow, R. And we need something for our stamina core. My goodness, that was terrible. Okay, let's, uh, horse cargo. So the, it was the peaches, right? Yeah, that's good for stamina. Oh, man, that was bad. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, here we go. Let's get, uh, let's get going here. So you were saying... They ain't going nowhere until we get some more thaw. Mm, that was hilarious. probably right. And even if we do get off here, what that? We still have a big price on our heads. This is a big country. We'll find somewhere to lie low. Dutch and Jose will have a plan. Yeah. You notice how Pearson's had a bottle in his hand ever since we fled Blackwater? We give the camp cook five minutes to grab the essentials and go, and he doesn't even bring a crumb of food. Good that we caught more than one. We've only been up here a few days and have already picked up two more mouths to feed. One more. We ain't feeding the old Driscoll a damn thing. Except maybe that can of salt and all <laughs> Pearson was kind enough to give us. The girl, she has a wild look in her eye. <sighs> of course. 
She lost her husband, her home, everything she had. So what do we do with her? Well, once oh. we get out of here, we're uh, back on our feet. I just heard a bear. She might have family somewhere. Who whoa, knows? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe she'll deal with the O'Driscoll for us. <laughs> well, I know who my money's on in that fight. He's weak, but that makes him much more useful. Maybe we can get to them before they get to us. What is it with the O'Driscolls? You ain't dealt with them? I suppose. Hell, we ain't run into them much the last six months. I guess because they've been over this way. Nah. I've heard a lot of talk about them. Well, I thought I heard a bear. <gasps> we've been scrapping There's a bear right there. With them for years. Big game. Nasty sons of bitches. Uh, leader, are we just gonna like ride? Go way back. Right by him. And not in a good way. A proper blood feud. Watch out. Bear up ahead. Let's see if we can find another way around. Aim weapon? No. I can't. He's got a lot of meat on him. We've got enough here. No need to push our luck. You must be real hungry. Stay well back. Okay. Spring storms like this are the worst for animals that sleep all winter. All right, so we're gonna go the, a different way. Cut up here, off the trail. Okay, yeah, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go a different direction. The bear has spooked your horse. When a predator's nearby, your horse gets agitated. Hold G to calm it. I thought the horse was like acting a little odd. We ain't ever talked that much, you and me. How long you been with us now? Five, six months? Something like that. But you didn't expect this. What? Any of this. Blackwater mess. Being up here? Ah. Uh, sooner or later a job's gonna go wrong. Nature of life. I just thought you might have moved on by now. You want me to move on? No. No, not at all. I just I know you could run it alone, no problem. I did that for a long time. I'm done with it. Always wondering if someone's gonna kill you in your sleep. Arthur, I still wonder that most nights. <laughs> I reckon you're okay. <laughs> this suits me. Sure, I could fall in with another gang, but Dutch. You know, Dutch is different. Oh, yes. Dutch is certainly different. He treats me fair. Most of you do. And for a fellow with a black father and an Indian mother, that ain't normally the case. Well, we need you now. More than ever. Good. And how long have you been with these boys? Why ain't you run off? Me? Oh. Twenty years, something like that. Since I was a boy. Twenty years? Yeah. He taught me to read. John, too. He taught me a few other things, him and Hosea. Huh. I'm sure. That saved me. Saved most of us. That's why we need to stick by him through this. He always sees us right. How's that new horse? He's all right. He'll do for now. I appreciate you letting me take Taima the other night. She's a strong one. It's been as hard on the horses as on the rest of us. I don't know what Dutch would do if something happened to the Count. Same with Bill and Brown Jack. He's a drunk, miserable bastard, but he loves that horse. <laughs> I hope they all make it. I tried to ride the Count once. Huck me faster than a bull. Won't take nobody but him. I'm gonna hitch time over here. Drop some food back, boys! We should really tether that horse out there. I'm working on it. Come on, let's get these over to Pearson. Uh, thank you for showing me how to use the bow properly. 
I only showed you a little. It takes a lifetime of practice to master. All right, go to Pearson. Oh, he's over here. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Rop. Just drop it down in here. On the what dirt? A surprise. Dude. Find a camp rat loitering around in the kitchen. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I feel like we haven't spoken for days. I do my utmost to avoid you. Oh, he loves me, really. It's his <laughs> sad way of showing affection. No, it isn't. Now shoot, get lost. Uh, well, see you gents later. See, you got on just fine. Charles is a wonder. Have a drink, boys. You earned it. Jesus, what is that? Navy rum, sir. It's the only thing. The only thing. <laughs> Keeps you sane, it does. Yeah, oh. seems to have done a treat on you. You go rest that hand, Charles. I'll be fine in a few days. You mind helping me with the skinning, Mr. Morgan? It's easier if we do it together. I'll get to skin you. <coughs> You're always one with the jokes, aren't you? Come on. This really isn't a job for a man with a burnt hand. I'll see you both later. You skinned that one, did you? Dumped on the floor there. Yeah, really, I shouldn't have dumped them on the floor. Okay, hold E to skin the deer. Should have hung him up first. I have actually skinned deer before, really. Not too bad, it's been a while since I've been hunting, though. Yeah. They always said you were a butcher. You know, you could trade these or sell these in pretty much any town. If you're looking to make a legitimate bit of money, of course. Right now, I'm just looking to get off this mountain alive. Well, if you catch anything else, you bring it to me. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Heck, Arthur Morgan's first decent bit of hunting after all these years. Yeah, well, we're on the run now. Everyone's got to do their bit to survive. Just make a good stew. Folk need it. It's been a tough few days. <coughs> a few days later, you have unlocked the Master Hunter Challenge. Check your log for more information. It's been a bad few weeks. But Dutch being Dutch, he is busy making plans. And Dutch being Dutch, those plans involve robbery and dreams. Who the hell is Leviticus Cornwall? Well, I thought you was reading him his last rites. Now I see you're introducing him to your other passion. I'll mind you to show me some respects, Mr. Morgan. Mind away, Reverend. You still here then? I owe you. Yeah. And you'll pay me. But for the moment, just rest. Arthur. I think it's time for the train. Want me to come? Of course I do, but. Look at you. I was always ugly, Dutch. It's just a scratch. Don't lie still, son. Hello, Abigail. Dutch. Jackie. The boy wanted to see you, John. He's seen me now. Or what's left of me. What about you? Guess I was hoping to see a corpse. <laughs> Bide your time. You'll see plenty of them. You're a rotten man, John Marston. He is an idiot, Abigail. We all know it. Now, railway men. Bill, now you ride ahead and set the charge at the water tower just before the tunnel. Ain't a problem. Why are we doing this? Weather's breaking. We could leave. I, I thought we was lying low. Yeah, come on. What do you want from me, Hosea? I just don't want any more folks to die, Dutch. We're living, Hosea. We're living. Look at me. We're living. Even you. But we need money. Everything we have is in Blackwater. You fancy heading back there? No. Listen, Dutch, I ain't trying to undermine you. I just... I just want to stick to the plan, which was to lie low, then head back out west. Now, suddenly, we're about to rob a train. What choice have we got? Leviticus Cornwall's no joke, Dutch. Well, who is Leviticus Cornwall? You know, he's a big railway magnet, sugar dealer, oil man. Well, how good for him. Sounds like he has more than enough to share. 
That gentlemen, it is time to make something of ourselves. Get your horses ready. We have a train to rob. All right, we're moving out. Follow me. Master Hunter one, one of three deer skinned. Okay, cool. All right, guys, I'm gonna pause the game here. Um, can I? Can I save it? Are we still considered in camp? No, we're not. Okay. Uh, the game didn't really give me a good place to <laughs> to to us uh, to stop. So I think what I'm gonna do is um can can I mean I have control of the player. What happens if I turn around and go back into camp? Can I save? We're, we're kind of missing stuff, but oh, it's it's like putting me back over there. I'm not even controlling. Oh, man, I wish I wouldn't do this. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Let's get over here. Stop, 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 stop. Okay. We're in camp. Story. Save game. Nope. It's not. Let's do it. It's probably because it started a new mission. Well, doggone it. All right. I think I'm pretty sure it would have at the very least saved when we finished the hunting, um, the hunting story. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here, and then I'll just reload the game and bring it back uh, to this point, you know, right when we head out, and then we'll start the next episode there. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Man, I am having so much fun playing this. This is so cool. I'm just, I'm really getting into it, um, you know, just to, getting immersed into it. Just, you know, riding around in the mountains on the horse in the snow, doing the hunting is just very cool. I can see why, you know, this game, you know, has such a, you know, such a high rating. So anyway, with that, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, but remember on the comments, please do not give me any spoilers whatsoever, not even a hint of a spoiler, but you are welcome to give me tips and tricks uh, and help me, you know, learn how to play the game, but please no spoilers. All right, guys, take care. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.